this video, we're going to go over episode 4 of the Boot Camp Basics for the Roland MC707. If you want to learn the basics of making your own sounds and patterns, check the previous episodes since they're built on top of each other. So I've made some patterns here already. I'm going to press Shift and Multi-Effects. We can see I have Lo-Fi Compression on. Also, if I press Shift and Reverb, we can see I chose Warm Hall. So let's exit that. So if I press play, we're going to hear the pattern, what I have here. Now if I hold down clip, I can actually switch between any of the rows, so it triggers all the clips here. So let's go back, so it waits to the end of the bar as well. Now let's turn up the volume. Hold down clip, let's go back to the first row. Now there's a lot of other synths in here as you can see. They're just the volumes are lowered. Let's bring up one. Now clip, let's go to the second. Now if I want to, I can hold down select and hold down the measure right. What that does is it randomizes all the tones. So if I turn them down, you can hear the drums. Now it's just randomly playing back mode. Now I'll just go right back to the regular drum beat. If I hold down left, it just takes it in reverse. You can also do that to this one, so let's reverse that. So it's in a different measure, and it'll come back through here. Let go. Now it's just going to go play through the pattern as normal. Hold down clip, let's go to the first. Now let's look into scatter. Now scatter is a granular effects tool. Greens are usually short slice divisions of the audio signal that we can play with. So let's press shift and scatter. Now if these pads are lit up, let's just hold down clear and clear all of them. Also let's clear all of these pads. So no matter what's there, they're all blank now. Now we can see the pads and the steps on the screen here. We can navigate with arrow keys. We can turn the value knob to go horizontally. Now on the screen here, if we're in the pads area and we press a pad, it's going to jump to it. If I press a step, it does not jump up. So I can arrow up. Now we can switch steps. If I press a pad, it doesn't go down to that pad. So if I hold down shift, press a pad, it'll jump to that mode. Shift and a step pad, and now I can switch between those. So let's make a basic pad right here. It's selected. We can see here some different options. And as we see, I can switch to the secondary options. So right here it says the color is blue. So let's change it to something else. Let's make it pink. Let's press function again. We can see all these values. So for now, all I'm gonna do is turn up retrigger. Now we're gonna play. Now if I press this, it says retrigger two. So you can hear it triggering twice on every step. Let's bring it up. Go all the way up to 32. So let's just leave it at 2. So if I press play, it'll be continuous as long as I hold it. So if I want it to only play a few steps, we have hold here. So let's turn that up. Now if it's set to 2 times, let's listen to what happens. So I'm going to hold this down. So it only played 2 times, or 2 steps. You can even see it when I press it two steps. Let's go four steps. So it'll stop after that. So we can play with these values from here, but we're going to enter into the next menu. So I just press enter. Now we can see mask. Now, now it sounds like it's still playing something beneath it. So let's turn on the mask and listen to it. So now it's just the repeating signal. If I turn it back off, kind of overlaid over the whole signal. So let's press exit, and we're back into this menu. Now what I want to do is copy and paste this pad over here. So hold down the pad, function up, it says copy pad. Then press here, function down, paste pad. So now we're also selected in there, press enter. Now we're just going to scroll to the right until we're at re-trigger. So let's turn re-trigger to 8 and play that. 
So it's a little unmusical, so I'll make it four. You can see it's hold four times. Let's just do two steps. You can make little rolls. So make sure hold is set to off on both. Now what I want to do is change the color of this. Let's make it purple. And now I want to copy this over to here. Let's make that sky blue. And what we're going to do for this pad, we're going to turn reverse on, and then we're going to turn the retrigger down. So now if I play, it's going to reverse everything. Now, if I switch over here, we see MFX 1 and 2. So these are independent effects that we can route these through. So let's make pad 4. Now we have dry MFX 1. So it's the dry wet signal. So I'm just going to turn that all the way up. So hold down shift. We can turn it all the way up here. So MFX 1 set to overdrive. So if I press play, let's press it. Turn down the drive a little. And turn the gain down a little. Now what I want to do is go back into scatter. For this pad, let's make dry MFX too. So if I turn that all the way up. So it's a reverse delay. Now we're going to start sequencing these pads up here. So, for example, I want this to be here, here, and say extend for four steps here. Press play. We don't hear anything, but if I press scatter, it's going to apply that pattern that I just made. Now there's another mode. So if we go over here, to off. It says mode momentary. So that's what we're doing. Now if I turn it to alternate, now it just toggles it. So it latches either no pattern or the pattern. So as that's playing, I can also play these on top of it. Or I can just throw them right in. I can overwrite steps. Press play. So let's add this one here. Reverse tape here. Let's change the clip back to the original. So now it applies it no matter what. So you can just hold down clip from this menu. And I can switch the different patterns. So it can be very subtle or it can be very complicated. So let's press clear and let's just erase all these steps. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some basic steps on here that aren't related to the pads below. We can program our own pattern up here. So if I press shift and any step here, we can see we're up in the step menu. Press enter. And now we're gonna see the same menu as all the pads, except there's another setting here called sequence. So if I press any step, it'll switch over to that step. So let's go to step five. You can press sequence. Default, it'll just play whatever effect we have set. But I can also make it trigger on step one. But when the cursor goes onto this step, it'll mute it. So let's, for example, make it re-trigger four times. So if I press play, we don't hear it because we have to enable scatter. So you can hear it. First step, and then it mutes here. So that's what the sequence step does. Let's clear that, set back to default. So let's turn mask on, and we can go over here. So if I press play, we can just listen to the track. Let's turn up some more synths. So now, if I go to the next one here, it says reverse. So let's turn it on. You can hear it reverse there. And if I wanted to, I could just press here, turn that on, etc. Or let's clear those. I can also just mute it. 
so that step will be muted. So let's just press through here and turn some mutes on. Let's press play. So we can have fun with that too. Turning that off, just clear it. So this step, let's go over to re-trigger. Let's make that two, see what happens. Let's go to this one and turn it up to four. Make this five. Let's make the glide go up. So here it increase on that step. So now let's clear. Let's say I have step one and I want that to be a certain re-trigger, a certain glide, and I press play. So I can hear it right there. Now I could just go here and do the same settings, but let's say I want to copy all the values from here. So press exit, make sure we're right here. Hold down function up, it says copy step. So let's go to five, function down. Now function down should actually paste it. So on this firmware I'm using for some reason, it's not letting me do that. So I'm just gonna go to the pad section, press function up, down, just copied and pasted the same pad there. Now let's go back up here, step one, function up, Let's go to five, function down. Now it just pastes it up. You can hear it there. Let's paste it here. And here, so function down. So let's clear that. So we can see here pitch. So what I can do is do a pitch glide here, make it go up, maybe here, make it go higher number, here, higher number. Let's just hear what it sounds like. So you can hear it a little bit. Let's go here, turn it up a lot more. So it's kind of short and quick. So if I scroll over to reverse, we see size. So what I can do on here, let's make it four steps. So it's gonna take four steps for that to perform. This one will make it two. So it'll take two steps to perform. Press play. So you can hear it sliding up longer. It takes four steps, then two, then one. So let's make it more crazy so turn up the re-trigger on these let's hear what it sounds like so if I go back to here again I go to reverse let's change that to two steps now it's a lot quicker now one let's make it six so this is set to let's go over here we see mask is off let's turn it on Now you can hear most of that effect now. Now this one's going up in pitch, let's make it go down in pitch. So go down. Now if we want it more musical, just make it more subtle. So go on the very small numbers here. Let's turn the re-triggers down. Let's make it two or even one. Go to pitch and make that slightly go down, maybe 3% and just make it. Now let's listen to it. So that's like a nice warbly sound. You can go to plus three as well. So that's kind of nice. You can change the drums. Switch to a different pattern. Now here are all these steps. Just clear it. So there's more settings in the set section here. So this can really mess it up. So we could have the position. Right now it's set to the mix out so the entire thing is affected by this. Now I'm just going to enter in some steps here. 
just pads there. So I can also change that. Let's change it to track one, for example. So it's just gonna mess up the beat. And all the notes aren't gonna be affected. Now you can only assign this to one other channel or everything. There's also other settings for external audio and PC, but let's just leave it on mix out. I can also change the position per pad. So let's make that track one. Let's make this one track three. Let's play. Now if we turn all these off, track three, up, and here. So let's disable scatter. Now, let's have the drums on. Let's press this one. Now that's only affecting the drums. And then this one only affects track three. So you can do it per pad, or if I turn it off, it's just gonna default what we already have it set to, which is mix down. So here's another clip. Let's just press play. Let's go into scatter. Let's clear all this. So now let's go back to the settings view. And we see here first loop hold. So, so if I turn on loop hold and turn on scatter, let's press play. And if I like turn up mixer here, we're not hearing anything. It's just looping it. So now we can go function. We can change the length of this. Now it changes the pitch of it too, because it's sampling the audio. You can also see the pattern only goes to the length that we have set. You can also change the scale here, so that makes it slower. So scale, make it really fast. If I enable it. So now we see measure. Now if I set this to say two and set two two measures, it's gonna go four. So it's gonna play it and then wait another measure because the length is two. Three, same thing. So it plays three and then waits three. If we do three measures, they'll just be an even longer pause. So let's switch to a different clip and press scatter. Now, it's on the different track. If I press scatter again, it's still gonna be the original loop. So if we go in and disable loop hold, we're back into this. Let's turn it on again. So now it's set to that. So again, clip, let's change that. Let's turn down some of this, turn some of this up. And now, Let's disable scatter. Now we're on the different track. So you can make transitions using this method. Let's turn it off, back on. Now I'm gonna turn up the drums. So it's looping it now. So now it's looping everything. And I change the drums, turn these down, turn these up. Now let's disable it. Now that's the audio it's really playing. Loop that on. Now this will change the grains, so it's 1 to 16. If I bring it down, you'll notice it stops looping. It's almost like moving the track length. But if we go in to one of these pads, for example, press enter, now we can see it has less slices. So let's exit. Let's go back to here. Now we see split. Let's make it less. To three. Now I go in. You can see three slices. So this can start messing up and going a little crazy. Let's bring measure down to one. Change the length. Change the scale. Disable it. Enable it. So there's a lot of different settings just within this. Let's bring split all the way back to 16. Turn off loop hold. Let's bring length back up to 16. 
make it scale 1 16th, one measure. So let's go back and say this first pad, and I'm just going to apply it to all the steps. That way we can go in and show you all the settings when it's enabled. So I'll press play. So here's the original. So I have this new pattern, so this new pattern playing here. Now let's go in and change this, so, so let's enable scatter, let's turn mask off, you hear the difference, on, we have press assign, now this, if we have all the settings we want, and just assign it to one of these, re-trigger, pitch bend, level, or off. Also remember we have position, we can just set it to one track for example. So now let's go over here. Let's bring retrigger back to one. So there we go. Turn up a little bit the other sounds. Let's change size to two. Now you hear it's overwriting. So the sound's getting crazy. So Make sure that's to one right now because it's all filling every single step. So let's say I cleared every other one here. So now let's change it to size two. Now it's going to be two steps per. So let's turn reverse on. So I can just clear it right here and then that'll be regular. Let's bring it back to one. Going to re-trigger, let's turn it up. Changing the glip. Change the glide on re-trigger. The positive. Make it really severe. Make it really weird. Let's clear out some of these. So we also have hold, so if reverse size is set to something, let's say two. I turn this to times two, that's gonna be four length now. I can times it, but then it's gonna start overlapping and sounding crazy. I'll just leave it at two. Now pitch, we can change chromatic. So when it's not playing here, it goes back to the regular pitch. Let's bring it back down. Actually, let's press shift. Go to 12, it's an octave higher. Maybe we can make one with an octave lower and switch between them. We also have fine pitch. You can hear very small, slight changes. We also have pitch bend. So if we go on the positive. It's just going to bend. It's just a more smooth way to change pitch. Let's bring it to zero make it to a hundred. Pitch glide in the positive brings it up and it's going that length that we specified. So if I bring it up it's going to be more intense. If I bring it to the negative same thing. To make it kind of minimal bring it up a little. Get rid of this one and this one. Press here, press enter. Let's go over and just make some mutes. So mute on, we're in step two. Mute here and here. Just to glitch it out a little, make this size two step. Let's clear it all. I'm gonna press clip, let's switch to this. change all the drum sounds while we're doing all this.
reverse. Make it random. Makes more sense. Turn these down a little. This clip. Let's go back in a scatter. So you might want to know, we can sequence the scatter pads if we want to. There's a way to do it internally. So I plugged in the MIDI out two and the MIDI in. Now this could cause a MIDI feedback loop. So we have to go in the settings, shift, utility, go to settings. So let's scroll over to MIDI. Now your settings, you want to have MIDI sync out to, set to off. All these settings to on. And you want to scroll down to channel 8, for example. I made that channel 16. Now let's scroll down and we'll see control channel, channel 16. So it's looping to the control channel. You can also trigger it from an external sequencer. Control TX MIDI out to, I have set to on. Control RX, receive, set to on. Receive scatter MIDI on. So let's exit. So right here, I want to create a clip. So create. Now go into note. Make sure we're selected here. This is volumes just down because it would trigger a synth, but it's going to go MIDI out. Now let's go over here. We have the step length. We can make that, for example, 128 length. So if I press play, and I press any of these, it'll trigger any of those. So this will trigger if we're in just regular octave zero. It's going to trigger each one of these effects that we have set up. So the thing is you can't see the scatter, but you can trigger it. So I could just press record for example, we could even have quantize off. The longer I hold that down. So we can also trigger these things on top of each other. So it'll overlap. You can look through the different measures and see all the notes in here. If I want to change this one, I could just choose a different one here. Hold it down, change the note. While that's happening, I can go into scatter and I can actually shift scatter. Let's go into here. And now what I can do is go up here, press enter. Let's turn mute on, for example. Let's do it for all these. So that we can layer as well as re-trigger all the pads on top of a sequence. Now while all that's happening, we go into set. Let's turn loop hold on. So it's recording the loop. Now let's change the split, for example. Function down here. We can change the scale, make it fast. We can change the measure. Change the length. Let's bring it down. Let's make it length 16. Now it's gonna start back up again. Change the measure, bring the 16 up a little. Let's clear these out. And go back here, turn loop hold off. Back on. So, let's go out of here. And we'll make maybe another clip up here. So create, I'm going to note here.
turn it off. Now we're back to this. Let's go back on. Change length. Disable, we're back into the regular. Let's go back to this. Let's go to tempo. Let's go faster. Let's go back into scatter. Now it's actually going back to that loop, so let's go back in. Turn that loop hold off. Let's just apply it here. Back on. Now let's turn all these off. Let's clear these out. You can also go to green. Now we have right here set to one. So if I hold that down. Grain one. It's gonna keep repeating the first grain. If I do this one, it's gonna be always play grain four. So let's have some fun with this. Let's exit, copy that pad, paste it here, all the way through. Now what I can do is go in, enter. This is grain one. This is gonna be two. Let's make that three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Now, as it's playing, I can just play around between these. And quantize it. So, if I go into set, turn off the loop. jump around a different grids that way. Let's turn up the split. You can hear it's switching. So if I go down to here, let's change the length, make it longer. Let's make it faster. Make the length higher. Change the measure. So now, because they're longer length, it's not going to cut out. Change it to one, bring the length to one. So now, it's going really fast, we're not hearing anything. Make it longer. So five measure two, making it longer. So it's going to be 5 times 8. So if I do like 3 times 2, you're going to hear it. Now, if I go over here to this pad, let's enter in. Let's turn that to default. So now it's just going to keep capturing grains instead of repeating the one I chose. So retrig 2, for example, we can hear grains changing, it's very fast. I'm going to also turn random, so it's going to randomly switch between the different grains. So let's go into here, let's make the length longer. And here, we can do a lot of different sounds with this. So let's pop these different effects in. Disable it, turn it on, or again we can go in, let's go up to here, let's create a clip, let's go into notes, let's add it, now I can go down here and just trigger that clip, it's just going to trigger the different pattern. Or, I can just mute 
Go to mute and disable the clip. Clip, let's change over here. Let's enable. Enable scatter. Now it's playing all those all at once. Let's turn to this one down here. Clear this. Now we'll go in, just go to mute, disable a clip. Now it's just these scatters. Get a good feeling can go on forever with different variations. You can just switch patterns and it'll apply everything. And if you have a clip set to that, like I did here, you can add even more variations. Let's turn the tempo all the way up. Now let's go to the drums. We're going to go to the clip settings and change that to random. And just mess around with different settings. Turn off scatter. Enter in some of these. Let's change the clip. Let's go in. Turn on the loop. Change the split. Bring the length in.